<laughs> What's going on, people? Um, we'll come back to another one. Um, it's approximately 6 30 in the morning, Friday morning, and your boy. Um, I'm on my way to one of the countries I've been wanting to go to for a very long time. I'm sure you guys can see in the title. Uh, I'm going to South Africa, man. My South African people, do my land. Anyway, but yeah, but you guys always know I always update you when I'm traveling. Um, and I always tell you about these experiences that I always have when I'm traveling. But this has been one of the worst, you know, experiences ever. Um, first of all, um, I booked, I'm gonna fly with Ugandan Airlines. I've never flown with them before, this is the first time. And the reason why I'm flying with them um, is because they're the only airline that flies from Uganda to South Africa straight, which is like four hours, right? Other airlines that fly there, Kenya Airways, Rwanda Airways, and other airlines, um, as my phone keeps ringing, but other airlines that fly there, they have to go to their country first. Like for example, if you're flying with Kenya Airways from Uganda, they have to go to Kenya first before they go to where you're going. Like, so if you're, if you're going to South Africa and you're flying with Kenya Airways, they go to Kenya first and then you do like a tran trans transfer there um, and then they go to South Africa. So Uganda, Uganda Airlines is the only airline that was gonna go straight and I didn't really wanna go anywhere else. But anyway, originally I booked for my first um, flight. I was, supposed to, I was supposed to fly yesterday, right? Which is Thursday. So, um, nearly an hour before I left my house, I'm getting ready, I'm getting dressed, I'm about to leave my house. Um, and they sent me an email saying uh, my, my flight's been cancelled. That's yesterday, right? Thursday. They're like, my flight's been cancelled. They didn't give me no reason whatsoever. They just said it's cancelled, blah, blah, blah. So they were like, okay, um, please look, look out for our update. Our, our, for the second email blah 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 regarding your, your trip so anyway after an hour later they emailed me saying um they're giving me two options i can either choose to cancel my flight um or cancel my ticket completely or I accept another flight which is like for this morning like right now friday which is the next day kind of thing so i accepted obviously because i you know i didn't want to lose my ticket and i wanted to really go to south africa right anyway fast forward to this morning right so I come to the airport, I get to the airport, I'm trying to check in to drop off my bags and they're like, oh, you know, um, the airline, you know, your, your booking agency, blah, 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 they haven't confirmed with us and blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, I thought it was you guys who cancelled my flight yesterday and you guys are supposed to issue me another ticket. They were like, yeah. So they made me sit down for like an hour in the waiting area when everybody else is checking in and so that they can go issue me a ticket. So it hasn't really been a good experience with Ghana Airlines. In case you're wondering what noise, what's the noise, I'm here in the canteen. Where people, you know, before you board, you can wait here, you can get some food. People are getting breakfast at 6 in the morning, like I said earlier, right? So yeah, Ugandan Airlines, man. Like, my first experience flying with you guys. Um, hopefully we're not going to have any more issues. <laughs> but so far, it's not good, man. It's not a good start. But anyway, just wanted to let you guys know um, I'm excited to go to South Africa. First time to go there. And yeah, hopefully everything's going to be good. And also, guys, to update you guys, yeah? Visas, yeah? Look, depending on where you come from, right? Guys, if you're watching this, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, like the video, whatever. Because I always want to give you guys useful information that you guys can use if you're going to these countries, right? So, I get to the airport, I didn't even know that, because um, when I flew into Uganda, when I came to Uganda, I came in, I came in on a East African visa, which I used when I was going to Kenya, and all of that stuff that they told, like I told you guys, how I couldn't use it when I was going to Kenya, right? So anyway, so that's why I've been on for three months, right? I, I still had like a whole month left, right, on my visa. So I'm thinking, okay, let me go to South Africa, where I'm from, obviously, like um, I have a British passport. We don't require we don't require a visa to go to South Africa, right? So I'm thinking, okay, let me go to South Africa. When I come back, I still have my visa, my East African visa. Yo, I get to the airport, I go to immigration, and I'm like, hey, so when I come back, is my visa still valid? Because it's East African visa, right? It's three months. They're like, no. Basically, it doesn't matter if you have an East African visa, right? You can only move. You can only move um, around East Africa, basically like um, Kenya, supposedly, Rwanda, and Uganda. So, as long as you're moving, you know, around East Africa, then you're fine. But 
once you exit East Africa and you go somewhere else like I am, I'm going to South Africa, coming back I will need a new visa basically, that's, that's what I was told, so coming back I'm going to have to you know, pay for a new visa, so another thing for you guys to keep in mind, if you're flying in on an East African visa, if you want to fly somewhere else, that's not East Africa, you're going to have to purchase a new visa, so boom. Anyway, I'm here in the waiting area, we've got like an hour left, um, I might get some food, I might not, uh, the flight is going to be four hours, but anyway, I'll keep you posted. I'll probably update you once I land in Johannesburg, South Africa. So, yeah, in a bit. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna speak a little bit slowly because uh, I wanna keep my voice down because obviously we're on board right now, as you can see. Ugandan Airlines, I'm, I'm impressed, you know. It looks nice, as you can see. There. Corridors, there. So, we're on board right now, uh, we're waiting to take off, apparently they're just still waiting for some paperwork or whatever and then we're going to be off to Johannesburg, South Africa, so flight is going to take at least 3 hours and 30 minutes I think, roughly, and yeah boom, so I just wanted to show you guys how the airline looks like inside, that's brand new, as you can see the seats, level seats, there you go, you got that airlines right there. And the only disappointing thing, obviously, um, is you know the onboard um, entertainment system. Like you don't really get too many options. Obviously, you get some kids stuff, Barbie, and then some uh, sci-fi movie, whatever it is. And then obviously you get Mr. De Niro here. So that's probably the best option. <laughs> but yeah, so maybe the onboard um, entertainment they can improve that. But we had to take off. But so far, so good, man. First impressions are good flight is clean you know the people are polite the service is really good and hopefully we're gonna be on time we're not gonna be delayed so I keep it posted and if I don't talk to you guys again I'll talk to you guys when we land in South Africa so yeah you got the airlines big 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 airline obviously two seats over there on, on each side four in the middle that two seats there yeah you can see very nice Uganda, I'm proud of you, man. Let's keep up the good work. All right. Hopefully, hopefully soon, you have one of these flights to fly from, you know, from Uganda to London to England straight. You know, it'll save, it'll save us a lot of travel. You know, like connecting flights from different countries. So come on, work on that. Anyway, I'll continue in a bit when we land. Thank you. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. spinach and this option here which is baked beans I think and let's see yeah hash browns and baked beans yeah you got some fruit over there some bread oh actually I was wrong I hope you guys can hear but I was wrong about the entertainment it was me who couldn't find it but yeah, they've got loads of movies, so yeah, my bad. As you can see, you got loads of movies. Boom, some new and old movies as well. There we go, so the entertainment system is not bad. Anyway, let's get back to the food. So we've got some bread over here. Some fruit, water. Well, you can get, you know, um, soda and juice if you want, so. Yeah, that's the food. All right. Okay, people, just landed here in Johannesburg. Just got off the big boy plane here, Ghanaian Airlines. And we're gonna go through immigration, obviously, you know the routine, and then go get our bags and stuff, go exchange some money, and then obviously go put some internet on my phone, grab an Uber, and bounce. So let's go. We just got here. All right, we should we go. Which way? This way? Okay. Ah, here we go. Found it. Through here. So yeah, we just got here. Apparently it's nearly 12 o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah. 
All right, I'll continue the video in a bit once I got my bags. All right, maybe let me show you a little bit of the airport, how it looks like. It's the name of the airport or Tambo International Airport right there. So, and there, yeah, baggage claim. That's where we're going. And that's the airport, that's the big way. Okay, and over there, as you can see, the Ghana flag up there. Right there. All right. First impressions of the, um, the airport, obviously, as you can see, it looks very clean. Um, looks like it's well maintained. Okay, let's go get our bags and then I'll continue the video in a minute. Okay, guys, so we're done here. I just came outside. This is this is how the lounge looks like, the arrival lounge. Obviously, we've got the statue of Uncle Madiba over there. But um, as you come through, this is the waiting lounge. Of course, you're going to get like a lot of these guys who drive taxis who want to give you a lift to where you're going but obviously i'm going to take one of these guys but also you you can compare prices obviously like i just got internet as well i got a sim card i'm going to let you guys know in a minute but when you come out so i normally because it's a new country i've never been here before so i exchange a little bit of money 100 pounds and i got 2100 um rand so that's what you get for 100 pounds this is the outside First impressions of South Africa. Beautiful, as you can see. All right. So, yeah, so obviously I, I exchanged a little bit of money so I can pay for Uber, obviously for all a taxi that I'm gonna use to take me to my apartment and also to buy a SIM card. So I just bought a SIM card with a network called Vodacom. Um, I've asked a few people and a lot of them recommended it. There's MTN here as well, but the majority of the people been recommending uh vodacom so that's what i got a package of 10 um 10 gbs and yeah so how much did i pay i paid um 500 rands for 10 gb um you know internet so the lady who sold it to me she said um, it should be able to last me um if i don't really be downloading a lot of stuff which i won't be so we're outside we're back inside so we're going I'm gonna use this guy here. And you're probably wondering why didn't I use Ubers? Yes, Ubers are available, you can use Ubers, but um, this guy here, he works at the airport. As you can see, he's got his visor on, he's got airport taxi. And what I, what I did, you can do that as well. So I typed in my location or my destination where I'm going, and I got the obviously the price, how much Uber will charge, and then he, I negotiated with him, so I'm, um, you know, so it's, it's kind of similar anyway, so, and he's giving me a hand as well, so I don't really have to, you know, go outside, uh, request and then having to wait, but obviously my man is helping me push my bags as well, so, that's what we're doing, this is how the airport looks like outside, there we go, so yeah, we're here, uh, first impressions, we're heading into the car park, and, I'm gonna be staying in San Santon, in an area called Santon, of course. I'm gonna show you the place when I get there, like I always do. And yeah, so this is the car park right here. Looks organized. A lot of people shouting, but I don't know why. Loads of these cars look the same, but. Okay, guys, so let me get in the car, make my way to my apartment, and then I'll continue the video in a minute. All right. Okay guys, so um, I just arrived at my apartment here in Santon, here in Johannesburg and um, yeah, like I always do, obviously as soon as I walk in and I, as, as soon as I uh, check in, I always wanna, you know, show you guys how I find the place so that you guys know exactly how you can find a place when you book these apartments. So this is the place, this is how it looks like right outside, it's a huge place. I'm not gonna tell you the name today because um, when I upload this video, I'll tell you the name when I'm doing a full review before I leave, innit? Before I check out. So anyway, I'm on the first floor or the second floor. 
that's the first floor. I'm on the second floor up here. All right, boom. So this is the apartment. Um, number 48. Cool. So it's a studio apartment. Um, when you walk in, this is what you see straight away on the left here. There's the kitchen area. We've got a small bin up here. And obviously the sink is over here. You know, we, we always gotta check if the water's working. All right, that's all right. And obviously there's a little piece here where you can put your um, washing. And obviously there's a cooker right here. Um, they give you some glasses and some plates up here and some cups. And there's a, there's a kettle here if you wanna you know make tea and stuff. Oh, nice touch, there's a washing machine as well, which is cool. And there's pots down here if you wanna hook up some, you know, some food. All right, what do we have over here? Okay, we've got a fridge. Yeah, your boy's gonna need to go buy some water. All right, what's this though? I think maybe this is a dryer, okay? This is a dryer. Um, yeah, microwave as well, some drawers and stuff right here. Okay, so let me close, let me get the key and close the door real quick because it's a bit noisy. Okay, so boom. Basically, my back is against the, uh, the door, as you can see. So this is the kitchen area I just showed you. And as you come over here, obviously, uh, we have a chair up here. I just took some of my shoes out. These are my bags. Um, there's a table up here to work. Um, nice, you know, power sockets up here. And there's a nice TV out here. And boom, this is the view from outside. Um, I think there's a swimming, there's a swimming pool down here right there guys i don't know if you can see the water but i don't know if um guests here can access that swimming pool right here but i'm gonna ask when i go back downstairs all right so and we come over here we've got some two two seats you know you can sit on if there's two people if you're here with your wifey or whatever uh the bed is huge very big uh feels comfortable enough all right uh, guys as you can see look at the floor though nice and clean right it's nice and shiny um people are cleaning all the time when i came in people are still cleaning so we got you know a light up here a lamp and obviously this is a bathroom okay hand towel to dry your hands all right sink the water works all right we've got a mirror up here i'll go on obviously your boy has to come with i have to come with my own toothpaste because sometimes these people don't give you no toothpaste and they didn't so i came with mine Gonna have your deodorant. They gave you so they gave me some toilet tissue here. I've already, you know, tested out the toilet. It flashes really well, and of course, got a nice little window here for fresh air. And this is the bath, the bathtub right here. You can take a bath or you can shower. You can take a shower. All right. There's another little towel here, I guess, for the to wipe the floor, and over here. They give you two big towels as well to use when you're having a shower. So boom. Um, yeah, so coming back out here, this is the, the bed. It's a studio apartment, it's you know big enough for one person, so that's all I need. Um, yeah, so that's the apartment, and um I normally want to show you guys the apartment how I find them as soon as I walk in, as soon as I check in. I showed you the TV already. Let me show you the balcony. There's a small balcony out here. Alright. You open it boom and you come out here you can come out here and chill look at the view wow that's the view out here beautiful on a beautiful day all right and that's the main road up here so these apartments are literally right next to the main road and obviously we've got some chairs here for like two people nice little table here a mop if you make a mess okay let's go back in so guys this is the apartment. Um, I guess you're wondering, oops, let me try and lock the door. There you go. So I guess you're wondering, um, when you're watching this video, um, I'm not gonna tell you how much I'm gonna be paying because um, so far I've booked for five nights and, um, but I might end up staying it, I might end up extending for two more nights because I'm gonna be staying in Johannesburg for seven days, for a full week. So, I might end up extending so there's no point of me telling you guys how much i'm paying for only five days when i'm gonna extend so i'll give you the full review um on my last day before i leave here and i'll tell you exactly how much money i paid for this place but it's a studio flat and um yeah it's a nice place it's in this area called santon uh it's supposed to be one of the safest rich area here in Johannesburg. 
So, um, yeah, I'll show you um, when I'm going out. Um, I'll show you guys the security. Every car that comes in, you have to register. Uh, they take your number plate and stuff. The Uber just dropped me off. They had to take the number plate and stuff. They asked him, you know, for ID and stuff. So the security is good. So anyway, guys, that was the epic, you know, uh, journey from Uganda to South Africa. I'm here. Uh, more videos coming. So guys, make sure uh, you subscribe, like, and share, and all that good stuff. Like I told you guys, when I travel, I always give you information. Like I just told you, I didn't know about the whole visa thing, leaving Uganda to come to South Africa. I thought I would be able to go back to Uganda using my East African visa. But obviously, when I was leaving Uganda, they told me, look, once you exit East, East Africa to come back, you have to apply for a brand new visa. So, yeah, I didn't know about that. So, that's why I always want to give you guys information as well. Whoops. So, anyway, I'm about to pop out to get some food because I haven't eaten. And it's literally going to like 1 o'clock or nearly 1 o'clock already. So, I'm going to end this video here. And, um, yeah, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.